There's a bug. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Didn't Dana Corby with Dana Corby? No! I'm a trainer and a competition woman. judge in USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me today. Man, I nailed that. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about contact. This has been a highly requested video for me to uh, talk about this subject and I've been postponing because it's a really tricky subject to discuss. Um, it's tricky because it applies in different ways to beginners, to intermediate riders, to advanced riders. So I didn't want to have, uh, I didn't want to discuss one topic and have it apply to advanced riders and have a beginner watch this video and kind of be confused. But what I am going to say about contact is that I think a lot of people focus on it a little too much, especially beginner riders, beginner dressage riders. Um, I made a vid video recently, if you missed it, I'll put up a card above. I made a video recently of me riding my horse with threads as reins, and um, it kind of blows the concept of having lots of contact uh, in your hand, kind of blows that out of the water, because if I rode with lots of contact in the video, uh, the threads would have broken. So I, in the video, I did walk trot canter on my horse with threads with a very, very obviously light contact so that the threads wouldn't break. I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I just freaking put my... <laughs> so I feel like the uh, idea of contact is talked about a little, or focused on a little bit too much. And... A lot of beginner riders get really carried away with the idea of contact before they establish a really good seat, really good balance, really good position, and other basics. So um, what I will say about contact is that it should be a relationship of between your hands, your elbows, the horse, the reins, the horse's mouth, and the rest of its body. It should be a very, very quiet conversation that no one else can hear. And it should not be the main focus of your communication with your horse. There is no amount of like pounds or weight necessarily that you have to aim for because every horse is an individual. Some horses um, do better with a sort of a firmer contact and other horses would explode with a further con uh, firmer contact. Um, but so, so I don't want really want to talk about like the weight that you're supposed to have in your hand because it varies so much. And really that should never really be the focus of, of your ride. I will also say that for however much uh, uh, attention or emphasis you have in the reins and in your hands and in your contact that you should have much, much more, maybe 10 times more the amount of focus and emphasis in the driving aids that you have for your horse, your whip, your seat, your leg, your voice, or whatever else you use for driving aids. We want the horse to accept the contact, meaning accept the rein aids to bend right, bend left, be more compressed. Um, we want the horse to seek the contact, meaning that they are they know to stretch forward and downward when you're asking them for a chew down or a stretchy trot circle or free walk or extended walk or something like that. But that comes from teaching your horse to respond to your driving aids, to um, and lifting your horse's back, engaging his hind legs, and having the idea of contact just be a sort of quiet little relationship that only you two can can hear it should it should never be a way to keep your horse slow to um keep your horse to make your horse like contained it should never uh, be the primary focus of your ride when it becomes the primary focus of your ride you see horses with 
um, you know, t different types of evasions like blue tongues, like open mouths, uh, tongue sticking out, um, sometimes curling behind the vertical, um, even um, sometimes uh, roll cur, you know, stuff like that. And uh, whenever you focus more on, on the reins and the, the horse's bit, I think you're going kind of in the wrong direction uh, with uh, classical dressage riding. So anyway, I hope this video helps you guys understand a little bit more about contact. If you like this video, be sure and click the thumbs up, be sure and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!